Um, so yes, my name is Karenza. It's lovely to meet everyone. I can see there's people from across the globe online. Um, this is the fourth time that I have been involved in the World Rabies Day organization. And I have to say it really is inspiring every year to see the events happening everywhere worldwide. Um, I think we can go on to the next slide. So I don't need to spend much time on the theme for this year because Terence already mentioned uh, in quite a lot of detail why this theme was chosen. So rabies, facts, not fear. Um, in summary, for anyone that perhaps joined after Terence spoke, it had a lot to do with myths that there are in communities, um, such as that if you get bitten and you rub garlic on the wound, uh, it will be fine. It has a lot to do with marketing and the whole COVID situation, anti-vaxxers. Um, our goal this year is not to inspire fear in people, but rather confidence through facts. And a fact is that we can win this battle against rabies um, together. So you will see under the banner of Rabies Facts Not Fear, there is also the website, the URL. And in this website, you can find all the resources that I'm going to be talking about and sharing with you. Uh, I think we can go on to the next slide. Thank you. So um, I will be going through these different um, resources that you can use um, and they're all to help you both prepare and deliver on the actual World Rabies Day event or activity that you're holding. So um, you can find them as I said all on our website they're all free we don't particularly ask that you credit the Global Alliance for Rabies Control but it would be really nice if you could tag us on social media so we can actually see how the resources are being used and we can further share, share your um, work that's being done. Uh, I will go through each of these points one by one. Uh, and then if you have any questions at the end, which we won't have time to go through, uh, you will have my email. So you can always email me with any questions. Uh, next slide, please. So. The first and probably the most well-known resource that we have available on our website is actually the global events map. This map is interactive. Um, anyone can create a login and add their event to the exact location where it will be happening with the date, details, photographs, anything you want. Um, this on the one hand, helps to reach a wider audience um, and creates like a central focus point for anyone looking for something happening, happening around World Rabies Day anywhere in the world. But it also creates um, a sense of solidarity for organizations. Uh, and I think that is very important because quite often we seem quite isolated in the work that we do um, and it can help inspire and motivate people. So next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so the when we talk about World Rabies Day logo, uh, we, we're talking about the round logo that you can actually see on the slide in two places. And that World Rabies Day logo is available in many different languages and in various formats on the website. The banner, when we talk about banners, we're talking about the um, part at the bottom of the slide where it actually says in French, in this case, um, rabies, um, facts, not fear. So the banner is available in English, French and Portuguese. And again, it's available in different sizes, different formats. Um, in fact, we even have a, a frame for your Facebook profile picture. Um, I won't show you because I don't want to cause any issues with the screen sharing, but it's very simple to apply the frame to your Facebook profile picture. If you go to your own photograph and you click on the icon that is to edit the picture, you will be given a choice to update uh, or add a frame. If you click add frame and just search, 
WRD 2021, you will be given this year's frame and you can just apply it to your profile picture for as long as you like. Uh, I think we can go on to the next slide. Right, and that brings oh, um, a couple back to the social media. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so yes, that brings me nicely into the social media actually. Um, a lot is now done via social media and online. Um, so to help people who probably working on the ground do not have time to develop their own resources to share online, uh, we have various toolkits available. And what a toolkit is basically is text and images ready for you to just copy and paste to use on your social media channels. These are mostly for Facebook and Twitter, but you can slightly adapt to use them on Instagram or LinkedIn. Um, you can use the pictures freely. You can copy paste the text. We have hashtags ready for you as well. And these were just some of the um, examples of social media toolkits we have. There is one to do with the World Rabies Day theme each year. There is the hashtag weekday toolkit, which basically ties rabies messages to that day of the week. So hashtag Monday motivation. And there will be a message that you can link to that and share. And the did you know toolkit, which is all facts about rabies that you can share. I think we can go on to the next. Thank you. Now, this is the big scary document, as I refer to it, the World Rabies Day Event Toolkit. It's a long, wordy PDF, but trust me, it's worth going through it. Apart from theory, there's also a lot of practical information that you can use. Um, there are all the basics about World Rabies Day. There's a lot of information to help you actually choose what you want and are able to organize for World Rabies Day key messages, and there are even things like actual checklists, um, interview scripts for the radio and TV, um, lots of practical stuff that you can use. So please do visit our website and download this PDF to go through it. Uh, next slide, please. So the GARC Education Platform Certificates. Um, these are free online courses. They're available all year round for you to complete in your own time. And as you can see, there are four. Um, it's good to start with Rabies, Rabies Educator, and then you can proceed with the other three. Um, Rabies Healthcare is particularly interesting for people who work in healthcare, for healthcare professionals. Um, once you have actually completed one or more of these courses, you can join the force wall. Um, to find out more about that, go to endrabiesnow.org and choose the button that says force. So you can see about how you can join the force wall once you've completed one of these courses. These are particularly useful in giving you information, crucial information on rabies and for public awareness in your communities even if it's just your friends and family, it can be life-saving information. And when you're holding an event, this gives you that extra confidence you need to focus on the facts rather than people's fear. Next slide, please. So um, there, apart from those things that I've mentioned, there are lots more um, materials available on our website. Um, there are booklets for children, a couple of the World Rabies Day posters are actually modifiable, which means you can add your logo and image to them and then download them for printing. There are presentations, videos, fact sheets, and all these things are available in many different languages. As Dr. Sarah Plato said, um, there were even Chinese now, Mandarin, um, thanks to their translations. Um, so please do visit the resources page and see if there's anything that you can use for your upcoming events and activities. Next. Thank you. So where to find everything? So your starting point is rabiesalliance.org. Uh, if it's something specific to World Rabies Day, do visit the World Rabies Day page and that will lead you 
in the right direction. Um, but there is also the resources page where you can just find all the resources, um, not necessarily to do with World Rabies Day. Um, please do follow us. We're on most of the social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, um, all with Rabies Alliance. So at Rabies Alliance. And do tag us, please, if you use any of our resources. We love to see how you use them. Um, and that's all I have to say today, apart from a big thank you to the Merio Foundation. So thank you and good luck with your events and activities. And please do email me if you have any questions.